you're welcome again to another video right in this particular channel well in this video we're going to be diving deep into the latest developments surrounding south africa's governing party the anc well recent polling data has revealed that the support for the anc has been rising in the weeks leading up to this month's election this surge in support suggests that the ANC might only need a small coalition partner to maintain control or it could even secure a majority on its own. For months, analysts have speculated that the ANC could fall short of 50% of the vote for the first time since it came to power 30 years ago under the leadership of Nelson Mandela, marking the end of apartheid. However, if the ANC manages to secure close to half the vote or more, the upcoming May 29 election may not be as groundbreaking as previously thought. The ANC would still retain firm control over the nation's politics, maintaining its dominant position. A tracking poll conducted by the Social Research Foundation SRF, a local think tank, has shown a significant increase in support for the ANC. Well, on Friday, the poll reported that the support for the ANC was at 44.8%, up from 37.7% exactly one month earlier. This scenario is modeled for the 66% voter turnout seen in the last national election in 2019. Other opinion polls, such as those released in April by Ipsos and in March by the Brentford Foundation and the Sabi Strategy Group, found lower levels of support for the ANC at 40.2% and 39.39% respectively. While these variations in polling data highlight the dynamic and uncertain nature of voter sentiment as you approach the election. While if the ANC is forced to seek support of larger opposition parties like the Democratic Alliance or the Economic Freedom Fighters who secured 20.8% and 10.8% of the vote in the 2019 election respectively, the party may have to make significant concessions during coalition negotiations. This could lead to a more balanced and competitive political landscape. Right now, political analysts have observed a trend of increasing support for the ANC in the weeks leading up to previous elections. This trend is often attributed to the ANC's extensive grassroots campaign, which involves thousands of volunteers going door to door and party leaders touring the country to highlight their record and achievements. Well, an interesting variable in this election is the influence of former President Jacob Zuma. I'm talking about the MK Party. Well, the MK Party initially made a significant impact on the political landscape after Zuma endorsed it in December. However, as the initial surge in group for the MK Party has slowed, the ANC has been able to gradually claw back some of its lost support. The SROF tracking poll is based on a sample of around 2,000 respondents with a margin of error of 2.2% at the 95% confidence level. While the interviews were conducted over the phone and the poll has been incorporating 200 new respondents daily since April 15th. This number is set to increase to 300 new respondents daily until May 28th, the day before the election. Well, as you actually approach the elections, it's crucial to keep an eye on how these dynamics unfold. The ANC's ability to maintain or regain support will significantly impact the political landscape in South Africa. Will the ANC secure a majority on its own or will it need to form a coalition with other parties? How will the influence of the MK party and other opposition groups share the outcome? These are questions that need to be answered. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section about what you think concerning this video.